Well, I, I, uh, I thought our team was really ready to play here tonight. Uh, we, we obviously had a uh, complete performance where you know, I thought our defense was outstanding for most of the game. And I thought really Sule, Boom, and Jack Nunji, they really led that charge defensively. You know, I, I thought Sule, his effort level, his pressure on the ball against a very, very good point guard, Ryan Nemhart. You know, Ryan, you know, he was two for 12. I think Sule had a lot to do with that. He, he really gave tremendous effort on that end. And Jack, you know, not only dealing with, with Kalkbrenner in the post, but I, I mean, so many different times, Jack saved us with his rim protection and his help. And, uh, you know, he got stitches at halftime. And, you know, uh, look, in March, you, you need players to just give give everything for the cause. And we really were locked in both on defense and offense. Certainly one of our, probably our best performances of the season. First question from Adam right here. So uh, the, the last time that you guys played Creighton, um, Ryan Nemhard sort of locked you up a little bit, held you to a, a season low two points. Did you think about that at all in, in preparation for this one? I like how you said you locked me up last time. <laughs> but, uh, um, I definitely had that in, in memory in my, in my mind. Um, uh, it's March. Um, I know I had to show up for us to win, and I kind of took that personal. Um, so. I know I wanted to come out and accept the challenge. He's a he's a good point guard, um, and we had great games with them. So I, I just come out, came out, and took the challenge, accepted the challenge, and did what I did for my team on both of the court tonight. Over here, Joel. Sean, obviously, you got a lot of praise for Colt Brennan back in Omaha, and I'm sure uh, Greg McDonald thought he had an advantage with you know Colt Brennan on Hunter and uh, Kaluma on on Nunji. I guess what do you, what do you feel went went right with those matchups today? Well, we did a better job executing our offense against that scheme that you talked about, and you're right. You know, they, they put their big on Jerome and put us a, a power forward, and they're, they're very fortunate because, um, you know, Kaluma in particular, you know, he's not a small guy, so uh, they're able to play him on the post. But I thought Jack did a good job. You know, you look, he had eight offensive rebounds against Creighton when we played him in Cincinnati. He had four tonight. You know, that's the other part of that. He, he can get offensive rebounds and second shots against a smaller player. And, uh, you know, I think we've learned that, you know, using Jerome as a screener for Sule. Uh, again, Colt Brenner's on Jerome, so we kind of flipped it. Some of the things we normally do with Jack, we put Jerome in that situation. And, and it all sounds good, but the player has to come off the screen to make the shot. And we got one of the best in Sule. And, you know, he comes off. Clean without room, without any defender on him, the ball's going to go in. And he had a big night tonight. Over here on the right, man. This is for Jack. Uh, you know, you got one more game to really accomplish a hell of an accomplishment. You win it tomorrow night, but 82 to 60. I mean, this does register as one of the most surprising scores here on a, on a day across the landscape in college basketball. For you personally and as a team, you know, not, now that you're not as deep as you once were, how much pride is in that locker room that you guys really did just pull off a fairly dominant <coughs> win over a, a squad I'm sure you all believe is capable of even making the final four? Yeah, I mean, we got some warriors in our locker room. I feel like, you know, since we've had some guys to go down, we've had a lot of dudes just step up. And, um, you know, ever since it happened, we've had that next man up mentality. And, um, you know, we just fought for each other. You know, these dudes who can't be out there with us, you know, we want to win for them because. They've been a part of the whole process, and I feel like, you know, we just we got to play for each other down the stretch. Back to Adam. Sean, we've been talking about Des and what he gives to you guys defensively. He had four steals in the first half tonight. How much did, did he change the game and help you guys separate? Well, these two guys will vouch for this. You know, Des has continued from early November just to be a better player. And when you're a freshman, uh, Sometimes, you know, leaving high school and coming to college, you want it to happen right now. And if it doesn't happen right now, sometimes, you know, you lose sight of how important practice is and improvement. And you end up not having maybe as good of a freshman year as you can. <coughs> In Dez's case, his attitude is his greatest gift. He's accepted coaching, sometimes hard coaching. He's learned to play multiple positions. You know, early, uh, you can ask Sule. Des had the talent to be a good defensive <coughs> player. He just he didn't realize all that, all that it entailed. Right now, you know, Des is one of our team's best 
defensive players. You know, the four skills <coughs> is one thing, but he allows us to have size and flexibility on our defense to really help us. And then offensively, you know, his ball handling and ability to get to the basket, I think sometimes gives us a, a different dimension. Over here on the left, Ralph. <coughs> Sean, um, or those of us who are sort of like catching up to your team, for those of us who are catching up to your team a little bit here, without Fremantle, you guys really played great. What's been the, the adjustments and why have they worked so well? Yeah, I mean, with Zach, we were 17 and 5, uh, certainly a high powered offensive team. And we were a team that was learning to be better on defense. Uh, you know, when, when we first lost him, we didn't know how it would go. Uh, so kind of like Jack's point, it wasn't just Jerome Hunter, who I do think <coughs> deserves a lot of credit. He stepped into uh, Zach's role. Uh, but Desmond Claude has emerged, and then, you know Cesar Edwards has emerged. But I also think that just our overall team, the four other starters, they just, they've improved. Each of them is more confident in their role. And, you know, last night I think what upset the three of us about the DePaul game, DePaul has firepower and they made some great shots. But we weren't at our best on defense. And we're lucky to be standing today to learn that lesson. You can't say that about our team here tonight. You know, we came out, we played some really good defense and offense, and that's when we're at our best. And then long-winded answer to your question, I think we're a better overall two-way team now than we would have been through the first 22 games. Staying on the left side, Jamal. Uh, coach, you got Marquette next. What kind of problems do they present? Many, many problems. They're an outstanding team. Um, you know, all the awards that they that they won this year, they certainly deserve it. Uh, I will take you back to our game in Milwaukee, and I think Marquette would probably say the same thing. It was a great game. Things didn't work out in that game. <coughs> And in many ways, that was the difference in the regular season conference championship. Uh, the fact that we're both here in, in the championship game in Madison Square Garden, uh, I think is a testament to both of our teams. But you know, their offense, their ability to score at the rim, they're incredibly hard to defend. And we're going to have to have that same defensive mindset uh, tomorrow. Right here in the left. This is really for any of you guys. Uh, last <coughs> night versus DePaul, you guys only led for less than three minutes and still found a way to win. Now tonight, you let Creighton lead for less than three minutes. And what does that say about the way you guys can win in multiple fashions come March? Yeah, I think it just <coughs> goes to show, you know, the team we have. I'm going to say the same thing that I said last night. The game isn't determined by one war or one segment. You know, you got to push through for all 40. And um, I think that's... That's why we have a resilient group. We're going to keep fighting you know, no matter what the score is. At any moment in the game, we're going to give it our all. Joel. So, like, we, we talked about the benefits of Jerome as a screener, and it felt like as the game went on, <coughs> life got harder for, for them hard, you know, with every possession, getting over those screens. Obviously, you're, you're good to pick a roll. I guess what you like about the way they played that? I mean, that's the, uh, that's the way they, that they play their defense. Um, last game, uh, last time we played them at, at their house, um, I didn't do a good good job of uh, making them hard uh, come 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 off the screen. So this game, I made sure that I was coming off tighter, um, so I could have that spot to shoot or hit my hit my man on a roll or a pop. And in this game, I made sure I did that. Uh, last time we played him, I didn't do a good job of that. He was able to get over the screens, and I wasn't able to get looks or he wasn't able to make plays for each other and stuff. So this game, I made sure I did that, and um, it worked for me and my teammates. Last question. Sean, as a player at Pitt, you, uh, you never got the opportunity to play in a Big East final. So how special is it in your first year back in this league as a head coach to have this opportunity tomorrow night? Oh, it's incredibly special. I mean, it's, it's special just to be here at this podium talking to you guys and as a member of the Big East and uh, competing in the Madison Square Garden. You, you know, like I told these guys at the end of the game, you know, you really understand once you get here the pageantry and why everybody makes such a big deal about the Big East tournament. But there is a big difference between advancing in the tournament and just playing in it. As a player, that's what I did. I played in the Big East tournament. But you're playing for the, actually the championship. You know, that's that's more sacred ground. You know, that's legacy for guys like these two guys. And, you know, we have to be ready. Uh, we have to, all we can control tomorrow is, can we be the best that we can be? And if, if so, I think what you'll find tomorrow is it's going to be a great game. And uh, that's what we're hopeful that we can do. Savior, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.